Judging by this wonderful mess, I believe we can now tell, and it is now safe to say, that this episode is going to be about laying the cork. First, let's start out with the supplies you need. Uh, right here I've got two bottles of all-purpose adhesive and a glue gun for putting the cork in place. And of course, you're going to need the cork itself. Now right here you can see I have a turnout pad and actual like three-foot strips of uh, cork roadbed. And that's what I decided to do. If you want to do that, you can do it too. As you can see here, I bought uh, this cork in a big bundle. And I guess that's somewhat helpful. So that's my suggestions. Follow them if you wish. At the switch here, I have a little overlap of the cork. And I dry fitted it to see if it would all, you know, line up. So I overlap the pieces a little bit. And to make everything work, I've decided I'm going to make a cut with a hobby knife. There we go. Everything should be okay now. Just got to take this little stupid section off. Yes, the probably will rip, but that's just the nature of cork road bed. Am I right or am I right? Okay, so to use this glue and the glue gun, you're going to have to do a couple of things first. So, uh, you're going to want to get your uh, glue gun and your glue bottle. And right here, there's a little hole and you just go cut it to your desired you know size for you know putting the cork down for me this is about a uh, give or take eighth of an inch so that's what I'll be using next to you're gonna wanna break the seal to do that you're gonna wanna use this barbed attachment and honestly all you gotta do is just Plop it right in the hole you made, and doink, you broke the seal. Now we're ready to start with the glue. So now with the glue all ready for uh, laying the cork, just you gotta plop it in your glue gun like this, with the uh, bar all the way back, and make sure that the teeth, at least for this one, are facing down so it ratchets correctly. Honestly, all you gotta do, you just pull this uh, handle, and it should, uh, everything should work out well. All right, let's get started with the gluing of the cork. All right, I have completed a large portion of my layout. As you can see, all of this all the way up to about there and uh, I'm gonna let it dry overnight so the glue doesn't you know like so to let the glue dry so I don't move the cork around later um, one thing I forgot to tell you I secured it in with little push pins if you don't have T-pins that's a really good thing to use because they work well and you can get them you can get a lot of them for pretty cheap so uh, I guess tomorrow I'll start filming the next part of the layout, which will be that siding, the lift out, and back there. Okay, so I've taken out all the pins, and as you can see, my gondola full of pins is now restocked. So all the pins are out of the cork, so I'm going to start on the section back there. Alright everyone, thanks for watching this video. Before I end it, uh, I've got like three things. First, leave a like if you like this video, uh, subscribe if you're new, leave a comment for improvement as always. Uh, second, with the glue, if you didn't use all of it and you want to keep it, uh, do what I did. I put some saran wrap, saran wrap over the uh, nozzle and tightened it with a rubber band so the glue will not dry up. 
And finally, some shout outs. So, first shout out goes to uh, Central New England RR. Check him out, he's got some really cool layout videos and some all, also some real trains out in New England. And he also, I think, is friends with uh, Jay's Train 08, my next shout out. And he also, Jay's Train, uh, he's got some, he's got giant layout. And he, it's really looking nice. Go check him out. He also covers everything from, like, real trains to infinite flight videos. Pretty cool guy. Check him out. Also, Class 1 Railroader. He's a bit closer to here in Chicago. And, uh, he's got some cool videos of, like, Rochelle. And he's also building a nice layout. And, I mean, check him out. Uh, thanks for watching.